But I'm going to choose to look at this from the positive side of things because I am a fan of Respawn. And I want to see a Star Wars game, a good Star Wars narrative game, a story-driven Star Wars game. That's what I'm looking for. And God damn it, I want it. And we need it more than ever right now. Uh, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that this has nothing to do with Kathleen Kennedy and her SJW agenda that, that is overrun at Lucasfilm because this is being handled directly by EA and, uh, more importantly, Respawn. So... That didn't take long, did it? Respawn makes me look stupid. This is what you get. This is what you get. People are always like, Jeremy, why aren't you more positive? Why aren't you more? Because you can't be positive. The moment you become positive, the moment it bites you in your ass because these fucking companies are so focused on being woke and pushing out their agendas and not worrying about just giving us good content that th this is why people don't. Like, you have to continue to call them out on their BS. And I was naive enough, and again, as a gamer, I totally love Titanfall 1 and Titanfall 2. And I've been happy as hell with Respawn up to this point from a gameplay perspective. But when you make a post like this, when you make a post like this, and I'm going to read it, Respawn has revealed two of Apex Legends characters are LGBTQ promoting diversity within the game. What the... Why do you think we care about this shit? Like, really, and here's my response. You don't give two Fs about diversity. You're just pretending to care for PR. You're pandering to a crowd of people that won't support your business model. Good job. Respawn. And that was my response. It's unbelievable. These... Again, man. This is not about having people that have a different sexual orientation or whatever. I've said it many times and I hate saying it. I hate it, but I have to say it to make my point because so many people accuse me of the stupidest shit imaginable. I have many gay people, many bi people on staff at Geeks and Gamers. I don't promote them. I don't promote their sexuality. I don't sit there and prance them out like a goddamn circus animal because that's not why they're here. I didn't sit there and go, hey, uh... Before you come work here, what are your sexual preferences? What do you prefer, the taco or the hot dog? I don't ask these questions because I don't give a flying F. I don't care. But when people do this, they don't care. They are trying to get attention. They are trying to show wokeness. Focus on making games. Focus on giving us a good Star Wars game, something we have not gotten objectively since Disney bought Lucasfilm. Now again, I like Battlefront 1 and 2, but they have a lot of problems, and they have not pleased the community, they have not pleased Star Wars fans, and Respawn needs to be aware of that. Quit promoting your diversity. You don't care about this stuff. Anybody that preaches about diversity does not care about diversity. They don't. They truly don't. They are just looking for social media wokeness and points. Anybody that truly cares about diversity doesn't really think about diversity. We don't acknowledge people based on their race or their gender or their sexual orientation. We don't do that because it's not important. I don't care. You don't care. The majority of people watching this video do not care. You should not get extra points for who you sleep with. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be highlighted. You shouldn't be put in another stratosphere, you shouldn't be disrespected, you shouldn't be alienated, you should not be treated differently one way or the other. That is true equality. But they are not looking for equality, they're looking for special treatment. So again, Respawn has made me look stupid. I completely own it. I said it. And again, I'm still looking forward to the games. But when you do stupid shit like this, it makes me question where your priorities are. Where are your priorities? You're a game developer. Yet you want to try to be a social justice weirdo. What are your priorities? Up to this point, Respawn, you have not done me wrong. As a consumer, I've been very happy with the product you have provided. And I'm going to continue to hope that that is what happens. But don't shove this bullshit in my video games. Don't do it. And don't pander to it. And don't sit there and advertise it. You do not deserve credit. 
because you include another human being in your video game. You don't deserve special credit. It doesn't make you a good person. It doesn't. It makes you a normal human being for including whoever you want that's going to benefit your game. But you're looking to be treated. I'm such a great person. Look, I respect the women. I respect the lesbians. I respect the gay people. I love black people. Give me your money. Give me your money because I'm such a great person. No, that is not how this works. And anytime people are trying to get highlighted for that and get credit for that, you know they're full of shit. So that's exactly what's going on right here. So, I'm tired of it. You're tired of it. We're all tired of it. We are sick and tired of these companies pandering to these people that don't care about their games. They're not going to support your business model. We want video games to represent video games. That's it. We don't need real world politics. We don't need real world representation. We don't need all of this sexual orientation bullshit into it. We don't need it. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.